everybody it is Saturday and uh, got the flywheel this week yesterday actually got that picked up uh, does not have the dowel pins in it so we ended up beating out the old dowel pins they don't have seem to have a bunch of wear in them here this morning is what we did they don't seem to be the war they just need to be cleaned up so take a little bit of time to get these cleaned up and then uh, we're still waiting on one pin for this back cover. Still need one pin here. Other than that, we have cotter pins and washers on everything except for this one. And we got our six springs now. Uh, we got a bunch of the parts for shifting uh, up on the console. Uh, we have our shifter actual uh, arm there uh, with a machinist uh, and he's gonna patch up the uh, wear spots in that he also has our uh, fork and the uh, deal that it went into with all kinds of wear uh, see if he can do anything with those if not well we're gonna have to get those from John Deere so we're just waiting back to hear from him on uh, whether he can do anything with them. But uh, other than that, we can't do a whole lot here today uh, other than put in some dowel pins into this new flywheel. We already got it marked as far as where it goes onto the motor because I paint markered that. So this one dowel pin is uh, marked with red paint. I also went ahead and got the pilot bearing in the other night and uh, done a little bit of cleaning in here as well. And uh, we'll see what we can uh, get accomplished here today, which ain't gonna be much. So, uh, anyways, uh, got new bushings put in this. We have a new. Uh, pin be able to mount all the shifting into new new fiber washers we went ahead and done that and uh, shim packs too also did that so anyways that's where we're at with things right now and uh, get these pins cleaned up and go from there
One more, maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't think I'm hitting it. Uh, I don't think it's catching it now. That one. Now, probably. wants to tap it in a little bit less and a little more than flush too that way it ain't out here our washers can do what they need to do for sure i don't know i don't know they had it flush before yeah. i'm not even like i'm not even like i'm just here a bit past flush and that way you know you're not Maybe they're not letting water in them, I don't know. Looks like there's more water in that than the dang pin, but the pin seems like it's more than that. That wouldn't do a whole lot, just a little bit. There we go. everybody it is the next weekend here my dad was able to pick up the last pin that we needed I uh, got that already mounted in and we are ready to go with a uh, assembly and a clutch so we're gonna have to go off of uh, building it off of this and then mount this onto the tractor once we get everything done here uh, according to the book that's the way they way they recommend it I was had things wrong when I was just putting bolts into the back cover and then trying to disassemble it. I was supposed to have the flywheel off before I did that, but uh, good thing that we're not using anything from that uh, as far as bolts and everything. We got everything new. So anyways, that was my bad. Uh, live and you learn. So anyways, so we're going to recommend, or we're going to go off of what the book recommends here, service manual, on uh, getting everything put together on this. And then, uh, of course, adjusting. We do have an alignment tool and the, I don't know what exactly what they call this, but we also have this piece to where you can uh, get the fingers adjusted right by putting this across and then uh, going off fingers uh, just in that way so anyways that's what this is for it fits uh, various models uh, 3010, 40, uh, 3020 so on so forth and then the 4520 over here 4320 uh, anyways that's that's what's going on there and uh, with that so if we ever have to do something else in the future with a different tractor, which I doubt we will, we'll prefer a case over these uh, John Deere's. But anyways, uh, hopefully between today and tomorrow, we'll have the majority of the 
clutches put together and hopefully mounted onto the tractor. We're still waiting on our PTO uh, fork in there and then for the, the adjoining piece for the throughout bearing. Uh, we're still waiting on those and we're still waiting on a lever for the shifter. So um, anyways, I'll quit yapping and uh, we'll get started for the day. This is where we're sitting with things. Everything's kind of uh, assembled here. We need some longer threaded stuff to be able to evenly put some pressure down on this thing to be able to get our bolts up through these. But, uh, and then we gotta adjust everything because our bolts here are not accurate. We're pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good here so far. We'll see if we can find some all three. All right, got some uh, four inch all three kit. I don't know how much this thing really weighs, but... Ooh, what do you mean? 
It's kind of heavy. Yeah. Nope. Wrong hole. That hole. I don't know where else. All right. It's there. Where I have to use the bolts to help kind of, because I had to wiggle it off of there. So, like, or how, how, I don't know how far that go. Well, with it, maybe it ain't. I don't know. What do you think? Of it? See through a spring, a spring right here. Well, I was able to shove farther that way. How do we know if it's clear in the pilot bearing? I don't know. Oop, it just fell out of it, I think. Well, it's in there. Pretty sure it's in there. Huh? Okay. It's in there. Gotta be. Now does this I don't know. along 68 going 55 should stay in directions at times. Alright everybody, here is the end of the video. Uh this very f last few clips of doing the back cover. Uh just the FYI, that is 35 foot pounds on each of the bolts. Uh Anyways, that's what we kind of got done here this weekend. Uh, we are still waiting on pieces back from our machinist to be able to continue any. We don't know exactly when he'll be done with those. So uh, we may be finding something else to do here this next weekend or and throughout the week here. So uh, anyways, don't know exactly what it'll all hold. Um, been busy selling some hay here recently too. And uh, Hopefully we'll have uh, some things to do here this weekend. So anyways, if you got to this point in the video, I just want to th say thank you. It sure does mean a lot. Give the video a thumbs up if you like this sort of content. And if you're a new subscriber, you might as well hit that subscribe button. It's free and it helps us out. And uh, as always, uh, we'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>